Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Rack, where we talk all things audio production and sound. Today, we are going to deep dive into ADSR and the envelope shaper. Let's go. I'm Dariana Everett. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and RAC grad. What is ADSR and why do you need to know about it? ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. This describes the four essential components within a sound, representing the four stages of sound and modulation. Let's imagine a piano key. When struck and held, it creates a near immediate initial sound, which gradually decreases in volume to zero. So it would have specific sonic characteristics of attack, decay, sustain, and release that can be expressed visually in an ADSR envelope. So let's go over the four stages of an ADSR envelope. Attack. The attack phase begins the moment a sound is made. This phase determines how quickly a sound reaches full volume before entering the decay phase. On an analog synth, this phase is typically instantaneous. On some modern synthesizers, like MIDI pad controllers, allow for the attack time to be delayed. Decay. The decay phase determines the level of a drop from the peak level to the sustain level of a sound. The decay time can often be altered to change the overall sound. For instance, a short attack and a long decay will produce a sound that reaches maximum amplitude, meaning volume, quickly, and falls slowly to the sustain level. Sustain. The sustain phase does not specify a length of time. Instead, it determines the volume of a sound for the entire hold time between the decay and the release phases. Release, the final stage, determines the speed at which the sound ends from the moment you release the key. Depending on the desired sound, the release time can be short or long. Let's look at four ways to use ADSR envelopes in music production. Using an ADSR envelope generator, you can alter the stages of the envelope to make even more complex sounds. Long attack, long release. By lengthening the attack and the release times, you can create rich, lush tones. Short attack, short release. By shortening the time of the attack and release phases, you can create percussive staccato sounds. Long release times. By giving your sounds a tail by lengthening the time of the release phase. This comes in handy when building sounds to mimic percussive instruments like snares or hi-hats short sustain and long decay. Highlighting the peak level of a waveform by shortening the sustain and drawing out the decay. Envelope shaper plugins. A lot of music production today demands meticulous detail in the volume envelopes of the various sounds in your track. Whether it's recreating the infamous ducking technique of sidechain compression, creating trance gates, or more complex rhythmic sequences, Envelope Shaper plugins are here to save the day. What do Envelope Shaper plugins do? An Envelope Shaper gives you control over the volume envelope of the audio signal you run through it. This is most often done by using a curve you can draw in, which automates the level of your signal. This basic functionality, however, is just the start of it. Many envelope shapers combine basic shaping with more advanced features to give you even more control. Some even incorporate compression and pulse width modulation to give you that extra bit of precision and ability to shape your sounds. When and where can envelope shaper plugins be used? Envelope shapers can be used on individual sounds or instruments and on group tracks. You most likely not use them on your master channel or mix bus. Envelope shapers are a type of dynamic control, so they can often be seen as another way to get done what you could also do with dynamic range processors, like compressors and expanders in another way. The main difference is that where dynamic range processors react to the incoming signal levels, envelope shapers, at least in most cases, execute your volume curve independent of the incoming signal. The range of uses can go from simple ducking of your bass or other instruments, all the way to creating longer, more complex curves to add movement and dynamics to your track. Here are some examples of popular envelope shaper plugins. 
Oxford Evolution Native by Sonox, Volume Shaper by Cable Guys, Duck by Devious Machines, Evade by Soundspot, M Wave Shaper MBD by Melda Production, and Cara by Soundspot. And that's it for today's video on ADSR and envelope shapers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped with understanding ADSR and envelope shapers. Remember, it's attack, decay, sustain, and release. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We post videos every week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.